Howdy and welcome to OnlineLessonVideos.com. I'm Ryan Spearman. This is a little Clawhammer Christmas music for you. It's part of our Clawhammer Christmas music series. Um, we're going to do Angels We Have Heard on High is going to be our first song. We're going to try that today. We're going to break it down for you piece by piece and uh, talk about a couple of the right hand techniques that are going on with this particular arrangement. So grab your banjos and let's make some noise. All right, well, I've got this classic Christmas tune arranged for you in the key of D. And you'll notice in the tablature that we've got it in the double C tuning, capo to the second fret. Uh, and then when you do that, you got to make sure you compensate on your fifth string, tune that up to an A to compensate for that whole step jump that happened when you tuned to the double C and added the capo on the second fret. If you've been following along with all my other Clawhammer videos, you know all about doing that. Um, but you may notice something, a discrepancy here when you watch the video. I've got my banjo tuned a full step higher than standard, than that standard double C tuning. Um, rather than using a capo, I've just cranked them up all the way up to pitch. Um, this is something, if you haven't attempted this on your banjo yet, I don't recommend that you try it for the sake of this lesson. Uh, I recommend that you just use a capo and do what you're used to doing uh, for changing your double C tuning into the key of D and just follow along in that manner. Um, different banjos, depending on the scale length of your banjo and a couple other factors, will or will not accommodate tuning up a whole step uh, above your regular standard tuning range. Um, something you can experiment with, but if you do, be careful and you probably want to have some extra strings on hand because you might snap a few when the tension gets too high. So what I've got, my banjo tuned to, is an A string, our fifth string's an A, fourth string is a D, third string A, second string D, and the first string is an E. Now the regular double C tuning is, is illustrated on the tablature and also a little note on there to capo on the second fret. So that should get us in the right place and clear up any confusion you might have had when you noticed that I wasn't using a capo. Alright, let's get into the tune then. Alright, we're going to start you off and do the measure by measure approach like we like to do and I'll be giving you a little guidance on some different aspects of the tune as we go. Let's look at that first measure and just I'll play that for you. So you can hear how it's supposed to sound, isolated. Now again, if you've been following along with my Clawhammer series, um, you know I like to break these down into um, different rhythmic units that I refer to as boom chicka. And uh, that's your basic strum, boom chicka, boom chicka. Um, so I like to usually refer to that as our base, base rhythmic unit. And that's what's happening here on these uh, on this measure, we basically have two boom chicka motions. Boom chicka, boom chicka. And so the first one we're just playing with the. Get that melody note there on the second fret, first string. And the next two melody notes are sneaking in. Boom chicka. And again, that's what I call, if you're not familiar with the terminology I use, I call that weaving when we're going to move that melody note through the basic boom chicka motion. Call that weaving the melody. So again, the first measure isolated. Pretty straightforward stuff. Um, the second measure, we're going to get into some dotted eighth note ideas, or rather dotted quarter note ideas. And in order to do this in the climber style, we got to watch out because uh, remember our thumb always wants to play the back beats or the up beats. If you're, if you're one to count through a measure one and two and those in between the number beats are what I'm talking about here. And that's where the thumb. 